Hi, welcome to the Photo Point Gallery. I'm Joy Dunnigan, owner and gallery director. Today, in continuation of our Wine Online Wednesday series with the Arts on the Coast annual exhibit, we're spotlighting three of the participating artists, very talented artists, Jack Wilson, Antoine de Villas, and Billy Harrell. Each of them is going to take just a couple of minutes to tell us a little bit about the piece they have hanging here in the gallery, but also fill us in on what inspires them most, especially when they're looking to create a new piece of work. So grab that glass of wine and enjoy. Cheers. Well, I used a drone, obviously, to get up the elevation to uh, take this photo. And the drone that I use is a, a really good photography drone. It's got a Hasselblad camera on it. The DJI and Hasselblad had a collaboration and built this really super drone camera. And it, as you can see, it picks up a lot of color mm -hmm. and just does a beautiful job with photography. This photograph was processed from five different images of different exposures to create a HDR image. And it really has stunning colors and very, a whole lot of detail from the 20 megapixel camera on the drone. So, you know, it's just, uh, I love going out and doing these things and, and being able to see these kind of results. <laughs> You know, the only moment that was like that, because that color was changing and grow, uh, starting to make those clouds glow. And I have a whole, I have probably 40 of those photos of that day. And a lot of them have almost the same composition, you know, because I wanted to catch the sandbar. The tide was low. I, been lucky when I go to this place for photography and I seem to hit it at low tide every time. And it's just very dramatic and the, the lines and the cloud, this line of cloud is just there and the high clouds turn red and it's just <clears throat> Wait, I love Ossabal more than any of the islands I've found over the years. It's just so wild and it's really just a, it's a miracle that it's been saved and pristine condition that it's in. And as you can see, it's a beautiful place. So the piece is titled Pranahana, which is Hindi for to surrender. And to me, that is that was absolutely a moment in time that I'm portraying. What happened was we were in South Africa in Stellenbosch um, at the hospital. My son did his cancer scans. And as we left the hospital, as I was still waiting for the results to come in, I looked up and there was this incredible mural of an angel um, with this huge space underneath her. And seeing her gave me this real sense of comfort. And to me, it was almost like I exhaled and I released. Um, thinking of one of my teachers, Thich Nhat Hanh, and his teaching about meditation and about how to surrender, how to be absolutely present in that moment and release the things we cannot control. I don't really consider even my figures being nudes. It's just the most honest way I can portray that moment. And it's like, I, I feel that my work leaves myself naked and bare in a way. Um, and that's the same with my, with my figures. I started, at, I was thinking my late teens, and I remember being told, oh, it's a phase and you'll move on. And today it's more than 20 years later and I still haven't moved on. Yes, I change and my palette change and my technique change. And, but doing nude, figurative, emotional figures has been a constant all the way through my life. I think space was a brilliant, brilliant theme because there's a cohesiveness all the way through the show, but it was very open for interpretation. Um, and I think it's endless what artists could do around this theme. So yeah, I think it was brilliant. Well, one thing I love about um, the coastal part of Georgia is the marshes, obviously. And the little bits at low tide of um, 
just white sand that show up. It's not like the marshy mud that we see a lot of times. And the marsh after it rains is just, um, and then the sun comes out. Of course, it takes the sun to kind of light everything up. But that was my inspiration. It's not any particular part, um, spot, but just a lot of times I paint just from, I'm out there so much and uh, just from memory and things like that. It's yeah. a palette and they put paint on the palette and they mix their colors and then they paint from that. I, I don't do that. I take the tube or whatever I'm using and I put that on the brush and I paint that on the canvas and then I'll get another tube and mix it kind of as I paint. That's how I do it. You know, if truth be known, I really enjoy doing abstracts more than I enjoy this type of stuff. But so what I've tried to do is combine both of them. I wouldn't consider this terribly abstract by any means, but um, I found some really cool molding paste and um, this pumice that I was talking about. And I, I, I just like to maybe use it on a horizon sometimes, just to, you know, just to give it some dimension or I've done it pretty heavy, kind of maybe what might be looked at as an oyster break or something like that. Um, the arts on the coast and your photo point gallery here have given me an opportunity to kind of get my stuff out there and show it. And, uh, I just love the way you are marketing, you know, 